At this Los Angeles hotel, a guest just called for room service. She wants a ginger ale. So the front desk clerk summons the bellhop, Wally. At only three feet tall, he's a model employee. Works 24-7 with no breaks for free. Wally is, of course, a robot. Programmed to interact with guests and to deliver things to rooms. Hi, Wally. Latasha McDowell says it's like having R2-D2 show up at your door. All set. And he doesn't expect a tip. What do you think? This is very cool. I love it. <laughs> Yay! Wally is a service robot, loosely defined as a robot that performs useful tasks for humans in a non-industrial setting, like a home or a store. A recent study by a Washington think tank suggested automation will threaten a quarter of U.S. jobs. This has many workers wondering, will a robot replacement be coming for them? And the irony is you would think because the robots, it would be cheaper, but the drinks are actually twice as expensive. So. If you were a fan of the Tom Green show, you might recognize Phil Giroux as Green's former sidekick, now a director with an Ottawa-based IT company. He and a couple of colleagues came to this Las Vegas bar for a drink. Here at the Tipsy Robot, the two bartenders can't listen to your troubles, but they will mix your drink in 90 seconds or less. Cheers, everyone, to the future uh, robot drinks. But seeing this technology at work for the first time, Giroux fears the future is bleak for many in the service sector. If you're in the uh, bartending industry, look out. The bar's general manager says human bartenders needn't worry. This robot isn't a threat. It's not going to take jobs because they cannot still work without human. We still need human to just to make sure that everything is going OK. For instance, these bartenders need humans to change their bottles, but already the company is working on a new model that can solve many of these challenges. And these rapid advances in robotic technology could have profound implications for the labor force. Some people say this is a bit like walking a dog. David Crawley is the founder of a robotics company that designed Magni. The robot has a neural net, which is a little bit like a human brain. Find person. And it's just found you, and it's driving up to you. This robot is like a building block that can be easily modified to do different jobs. A robotic porter, for instance. Or a robot cocktail waiter. Crawley says the technology is advancing so quickly, robots could eventually be doing a lot of the work Canadians are doing now. As a roboticist, I, that would be my, my wildest fantasy. You're, you're rooting for the robot. <laughs> I'm rooting for the robot, right? You know, I mean, they're able to move things from one place to another. They're able to interact with objects and do the sorts of things that, that humans can do. And, you know, that's going to displace human work. You know, receptionists, secretaries, people that, that do things in offices are going to be the, the next area that I think robots are going to displace. On a street corner in San Francisco, Cafe X, the only coffee shop in America run by a robot. It's a very friendly robot. It has like a several different dance routines. <laughs> the robot's young inventor says employees can focus on customers instead of the boring task of actually making the coffee. But in an unusually frank admission, he concedes by using robots, the business is able to reduce one of its highest costs. Certainly it gives us uh, the flexibility to sort of adjust the amount of labor we have on site because, you know, the kind of basic functionality of making drinks is done by a robot. So that is one of the things that makes it more economical for us to like scale really quickly. Researchers suggest in 20 years, roughly 90% of jobs in the food preparation industry could be done by robots. Is this the future? Uh, I think it's pretty obvious it is, yeah. Back at this Los Angeles hotel, Wally has finished his deliveries. Need anything? Dial zero from your room, it'll bring it to you. Right now, Wally and many other service robots aren't actually vital to the bottom line, more like a novelty to draw customers. Hashtag Wally. <laughs> Chances are you will eventually have a robotic colleague at work, but it's unlikely you will actually be replaced anytime soon. After all, customers still need human interaction, and robots still need us. For now. Kim Brunhuber, CBC News, Los Angeles.